<laughs> you said you wanted to fight, bitch. I'm getting bored. Fight me like you mean it. <laughs> there you go. See, is it that hard? What's up, guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and we got five hours to live. How are you going to spend them? Well, let's play Mega Man X5. Yes, viewers, we got two more Maverick stages to go. No more need to roll the dice now, because I think we kind of already need, know where we need to go. Well, I do. In any case, we are going to the Red Hot Wilds. So let's go. Five hours, though, viewers. No, now four hours. Good luck. Good luck. And Godspeed. <laughs> you will probably need it a lot more than me. No, no. But in any case, um, now this is a little annoying. Now, what I could do is I could go into Ultimate Armor for this, or I can go as Falcon Armor. The thing is, there is another Gaia Armor part, but this one is a little bit tricky to get to. So, you know what, fuck it, I'll go with the Ultimate Armor. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll just have to come back here after, the, after we're done the stage. Needless to say, we're going to a fire level, and where there's fire, there is lava. Oh, this music kicks ass! I love this. There's a rocket booster engine in this lava area. Watch out for the lava and proceed with care. If you touch the lava, you'll be instantly vaporized. Wow, no shit! Like, I would not have noticed or figured that out on my own. Dumb bitch. Like, why do I need advice to stay away from the lava? Stay away from the lava! Stay away from the summoner! No, no. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> but yeah, you might want to actually stay away from the fire. It, it, it should be bluntly obvious. Anyone that's not dumb will be able to figure that out. You don't need Alien to tell you to stay away from the fire. Fire burns! And well, could die. Now, this fire will not kill you. It'll just damage you. However, later in the stage, that's another that's another story. So, you know, there you go. All right, hurry up. But uh, well, yeah, viewers, this music kicks ass. I love it. Now, you're probably wondering, so Mike, do you love this stage's music or or um Magma Dragoon's um stage music from X4? Both of them are equally good in my eyes. There is no one or the other for me. They're just both good. Mega Man does good with the fire levels. Wait, what is it now? There's a lot of lava below us, but we have no choice but to proceed this way. The lava comes at fixed intervals. Be mindful of the timing and proceed. Now that's actually good advice. Uh, watch, watch below you, it's too hot. You're too hot! Ugh! No. Wait until the lava is gone, then go down. Wow, no shit. I just gave her a compliment, and now I'm already regretting giving her the compliment. Whoa! That lava came through like a fucking train. <laughs> oh shit, we gotta hurry. But yeah, before we do though, let's get that heart tank! Oh my god, Alia. Go before the next lava comes, quick! Yeah, I would love to if you would stop fucking interrupting me! Hmm, do you see the rock over there? The temperature is lower than the other side of the rock. If you take advantage of the rock, you may be able to avoid the lava. Watch, wait below the, behind the rock when the lava comes to proceed with care. Ah! Whoa, that was close! Now, I would have got to this spot earlier had Alia shut the fuck up. Like, she is so loud. Or rather, no, not loud, but annoying. She's like the relative that just will not shut up about, oh, you know what? Uh, the president's doing this. Uh, blah, 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 politics, blah, 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 blah. Like, shut up. Like, I don't want to hear that. At a fucking birthday party! Or, or a cookout! Like, just shut 
up. Seriously, who the fuck wants to listen to politics at a fucking barbecue? I'm here to have fun, eat barbecue, chat it up with old friends, shit like that. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, know. I don't care what the president's doing. Shit. <laughs> but yeah. To take advantage of all these little areas here that has those um those black outlines that'll provide you some shelter. Destroy the door in front of you, then, then you'll be able to proceed to another area. Wow, I never would have figured that out on my own! Seriously, that door looks so inconspicuous. I would not have known that that door was sus. Ugh. Seriously, why did they make Alia a thing? We got through the first four X games without no fucking annoying navigator. Hmm, this area is kind of like a sea of lava. Wow, no shit, Sherlock. The pro ride armor could probably endure the heat of the lava. Alright. Our path divides. You can go this way, or you can take the other way below. If you go down, you'll have to go through the lava area. If you go this way, you'll be free from the lava, but... You can't proceed with the ride armor because a huge rock blocks the way. <sighs> of course. It wouldn't be a Mega Man game without a cock block in the way. Which way would you choose? The choice is yours. Your fate may be sealed. You have no choice. No, no. We actually have a choice here. What you want to do is go into the lava area. Because if you do. Then, well, you'll be able to get the next Gaia armor part, which you'll need the riot armor to get. Or, if you're lucky enough... Oh! What the fuck were those? If you're equipped with it and stuff like that, you can use the Falcon armor at the, at the upper level. Oh! oh, those guys! I remember them from X4! It's ironic. Yeah, those bats? Well, we've seen these bats already throughout the playthrough, but... The guys in the right armor. They were in Magma Dragoon's level as well as Slash Beast's level from X4. Yeah, nice to see them again. Ha! But yeah, make sure that your right armor does not take that much damage. Because just like in Mega Man X4, if your right armor takes too much damage, um, you might be screwed. Because you notice we're inside of lava. How X's head is not dissolving in the lava, I don't know. The Rhine Armor is protecting him, and or Zero if you're using him. But, you know, I just don't know how X is not, how is he enduring this heat in his bare head? This makes no sense. Well, what's ever? In any case, ugh, the Rhine Armor, or not Rhine Armor, the, um, X, the capsule is over there. The problem is actually getting to it. You see this rock here? We can't jump over it with the um the right armor. So what you gotta do is you gotta dash jump um over to get to the platform. But don't think it's gonna be easy doing that either. Alright, I'm gonna save state real quick just in case. Be right back. Alright viewers, I'm using my keyboard for this section. Let's hope I get it right. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Shit. Alright. Move, bitch! There you go. Now! Huh? Try again! Dude. Dude. Alright, I guess I have to use my controller then. Alright, one, two, three, go! Yes! <laughs> I made it! That was fucking close. This is the program for the orange part of the Gaia armor. Analyze, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 we already know. Yes, yes, okay, thank you. While the range of the Gaia shot is short, it's powerful and can neutralize the enemy's energy bullets. Also, you can break a certain brick. Yes, I know which brick you're talking about. Those big black bricks that we saw back in um, Bolt Kraken stage. In any case, let's get the arm parts for the Gaia Ama. Yes, three out of four now, viewers. Now, <sighs> bitch. Now, let's say you decided to take the upper level, right? Now, if you... <sighs> Bruh. Get the f*** out of my way! Damn bats! Now, if you decided to go and take the upper level, you will arrive, um, right, like around here-ish. 
or so. You'll have to fight a mini boss, like a robot dragon or something like that, like a wyvern, stuff like that, before getting to this area here. So just keep that in mind. But beyond that, um, yeah, it's all it's all Gucci, honestly. Now, here's how to get through this section. What you want to do is get the annoying bat out of the way. Or you know what? One thing I will do, I'll use the sea, the sea shield. Now, dash jump over here. This is the only part that you can jump on, right there. Do that, and you can get to the boss gate. Now, if you happen to slip, you might want to try and make your way to the left as quick as possible. Because if you miss your timing, you'll fall into the lava and you will die. It should be obvious to anyone that's played any Mega Man game. If you slip up, you die. Yeah, simple concept, isn't it? Yeah, viewers, you get it. Ah, enough small talk. Let's get that booster engine thing. All right, where's the boss? Whoa, we're facing a burning, flaming dinosaur. Cool, Max Rex or Burn Dino Rex in his Japanese name. Why have you come this far? I want your booster engine. So, are you going to give it to me the easy way, or are you going to give it to me the hard way? The choice is yours, because I'm getting that ass. No, no, no. Eh, hashtag booty warrior. God, I love that guy. <laughs> the boondocks. Oh, my God. I want your booster engine now. I have evidence that this is a secret web warehouse for weapons. So, unless you want me to arrest your ass and or kill your ass, you give me the booster thing now. You know what's happening to the Earth. Now give it to me! Give it to me. Uh, no, no, not that. Yes, whatever you say. That's what you want to hear, right? You know nobody will obey like that, don't you? So why don't you fight as always to force me to give it to you? That's if you have the guts to. <laughs> you really want me to kill you, don't you? Okay. Well, viewers, he asked for it, so I guess it's another acceptable law. No, no, no. Well, it seems like he wants to die, so I'll give you what you want. But yet, why do Reploids always have to fight each other? Darn, do I have to fight again? Why am I fighting? Why do I have this job? Come on, it's time to do what we do best. Let's fight and enjoy ourselves, just like always. Because as we already know, viewers, somebody's going to live, somebody's going to die. In these death matches in the Mega Man games, if you are weak even for a split second, well, take a wild guess what will happen to you. You burn! So it's time for a boss fight versus Burn Dino Rex. Now, ow! Oh! oh. <laughs> In order to deal with him, you need to use the wing spiral that we got from um the Sky or Spyro Pegasus! God. And whenever I say Pegasus, it reminds me of the Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. You fucking cheater. Ow! That thing just blow me away with his tail? Okay, this okay, this is boring with the uh, the boss's weapon weakness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight him fair and square. And by fair and square, I mean using the the, the Nova Strike. Ha! Come on, bitch! Is that all you got? You're a fire boss. I expect a bit more. <laughs> you said you wanted to fight, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting bored. Fight me like you mean it. <laughs> there you go. See, is it that hard? <laughs> You wanted to die, you got your wish. Hashtag Kofefe. Uh, yeah! That was fun. You see, it's always nice to fight the boss without their weapon weakness sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, and I still am SA rank. I love it. One. In any case. Yes, DNA data, blah, 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 DNA data, crap, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, this bitch is annoying. Now get to my DNA data select, thank you. Fuck. 
Oh shit, viewers, I, I wouldn't do that a little too quick. <laughs> for defeating Burn Dino Rex, we get the Ground Fire. Um, that is for X, and the Quake Blazer, that is for Zero. Alright! We found the booster engine. Now the striking power of the shuttle will be increased. There seems to be some more useful weapons lying around, but I don't think we have time to investigate. Evacuate before you get sucked into the lava. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I love fire levels as much as the next guy, but considering it's like summer basically now. Um, heat? No. No heat. No Alpus! No, no. In any case, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I equipped X with that with that jumper part that we got last time. So that's why his, you know, his dash jumps and stuff were enhanced in the stage. Alright, now that we got the shit from Burn Dino Rex's stage, we got one more stage to go. And it looks like we're going into the jungle! Now, for this particular area, I may or may not need the Falcon Arm. Uh, you know what? I think I will go with the Falcon Armor for this one. Because, actually, no, because, uh, you know what? I will need the Falcon Armor for the, um, you know, the armor part. Damn. Well, I don't need Ultimate Armor X for every stage. So, yeah, let's go to the stage with the Falcon Armor. This will be, this will actually be fun. We only got two hours to live, so we might want to make the most of those hours, viewers. Seriously, when we when we went to burn Dino Rex stage, we had four hours. Now we're down to two. The game really wants us to die. Oh, I love this stage's theme. This I think this theme was made by Guns N' Roses back in the day. Ah, the secret Reploid Forces facility that is hidden deep in the jungle has become infested with Mavericks. I bet that if you go a little deeper into the forest or jungle, you'll be able to find the orbital engine. Why do they keep an orbital engine in this place, though? That makes no sense. <laughs> Whatever. In any case, you're in my way, bitches! One thing I will say about the Falcon Armor, it is so cool. The dashing, that is. You can grab the vines with your wire hook. Use the vines and climb up. Whoa, no shit! <laughs> Seriously. I would not have been able to figure that out on my own, viewers. Alia is such a boss. Hashtag no. In the case, our favorite Sigma Stalker heads are back. Um, I'm going to just avoid the, the floating head, if you don't mind. Now, you might want to watch out for those, um, those purple rose bud dingies. The thing is, they will spawn not only spiders. Whoa! Yeah, oh yeah, watch out for those, too. They will spawn not only spiders, but they will also grab onto your ass. Like that. And if they do, they'll suck you dry. <laughs> yeah, they'll suck you dry, all right. Suck me! No. Touch me. No. Viewers, I know you guys, those that played the original Final Fantasy VII, you guys remember that there was one enemy in the game called Touch Me? It was a frog enemy. That you can encounter? Yes, I, those that have not played Final Fantasy VII, I am not joking. There is a frog enemy there called Touch Me. Mm. Mm, yeah. Climb down there, but watch out for the big hole below you. Mm. Oh, trust me, I'm into that hole. <laughs> I'm going in! Deeply! Now, oh yeah, Um, be careful here. This is actually one of the most dangerous parts of the stage. But if you got the Falcon Armor, you don't have to worry about it too much. But I still watch a step. That's, you know, just my opinion. <laughs> Careful! Alright, it's up there! Go! Woohoo! Made it! Hey, Dr. Let's Ghost. I'll give you another program for your armor. This is the armor prototype that I created a long, long time ago. I named it Gaia Armor. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I know, I know. Yeah, it lacks mobility unlike the Falcon Armor, and it's slower, but it's a little bit more powerful. But yeah, okay, yes, thank you, I know, thanks, thanks. Have a good day, bye-bye. All right, now, with that, we got the foot parts of the Gaia Armor. With that, we got all four Gaia Armor parts. Nice. All right, now we can make our way down now. Now, 
I'm not sure if we will be able to even get up there with the Ultimate Armor's Nova Strike and stuff. When I think about it now, it looks virtually impossible. We probably would have to take damage first from something, and then we could probably avoid those spikes. But you have to get be like really quick with it. Because if not, then you're going to, well, obviously, well, die if those spikes can hit you. So it, it should be obvious, right? Of course. I'll just take that energy. Excuse me, bitches. All right. We managed to boss gate that easily. Hmm. Not a bad stage. In any case. We're facing a Rose Boss? Hmm, fabulous. Axel the Red, or Spike Rose Red in Japanese. What do you want with me? <laughs> I honestly don't want nothing to do with you, brah. All I just want is the Orbital Engine. Are you a thief or something? You can't just take what you want that easily. Go home, kid, otherwise I'll call the Maverick Hunter. <laughs> Bitch, you're looking at a Maverick Hunter! A top one at that. But yeah, do as you wish, brah. Now, tell me where the engine is. Or do I have to shove my buster down your throat? Because I know that's what you want. Your other Maverick friends wanted the same thing. And I gave them exactly what they wanted. Deep throating those asses. Yes. I deep throated all your Maverick friends. They enjoyed it so much that they died. Now, tell me where it is! I told you. You can't get it so easily. You'll have to fight me for it. Uh, if that is the easiest way to persuade you, then so be it. You will die! Hey, you better watch your mouth. I'll do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> Let the battle begin! <laughs> Those are my words. You're literally, a, you're literally a rose. Huh, but sometimes roses have thorns. So it's time for a boss fight versus Spike Rose Red! Now, in order to deal with Spike Rose Red, we need to use the ground fire that we got from Burn Dynarex. It should be obvious, right? He is a plant! So, you know, fire burns, viewers. And without the Nova Strike, there's gonna be a slightly hit 69. It'll be a slightly boring fight, since I'm just spamming fire at his ass. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Now, dealing with him without his weapon weakness is not that hard. But if you're using the Falcon armor for that, prepare for a very annoying fight. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Yeah, you do not want him to, you know, grab onto you with those vines. He's kind of a creeper. <laughs> yeah, once he latches onto you, he will not let go. Alright, in any case, let's get some charge up action here. Uh, oh yeah, um, there you go. Wait, I can't even charge up my weapon? Oh, that's Bullshit! Ah, get off me! Ah, I'm gonna flame those petals! Speaking of which... Ah, you know what? You bitch! Ah, <laughs> no, no. Alright, I got you! Now! Falcon Strike! And that's how you get it done! Seriously, you were just asking for me to kill you. You could have just gave me the engine and been on your way. But no, you had to die. So dumb. You, X gave you the option to live. You should have took it. Stupid fucker. Like, if you're given the option to live, you best take the chance. In any case, yeah, DNA data, thank you. Luckily, this is the last one that we get. Alright, what am I getting from this bitch? Um... Are you? Ah, here we go. Yep, yep, I know what it gets. Alright, perfect. In the case, I want some life, baby. Oh, sorry, I want to do that uh, quickly again. We get the spike ball for X and the twin dream for zero. And with that, the Gaia armor is complete. The Sigma virus even destroys nature. There's nothing in nature now which is completely free from mechanical devices. We found the booster. It's out of the jungle. Another hunter will pick it up there and Soon. Your mission is complete. Return to the base. Right. Well, it's time to see if this shuttle operation will succeed. Something tells me it will, or it won't. But it's up to RNG. I'll be right back. 
All right, viewers, I'm back. Now, let's see if this shuttle operation succeeds. We completed the space shuttle. It's ready for launch at any time. Still, the problem is who will maneuver it. It's awkward having this kind of problem at the very end. Everything else is taken care of. The shuttle is ready. Let me know once you deal with the pilot issue. I'm not piloting that thing. Have someone else do it. The space shuttle stand by. I trust you, Zero. Wh Wait, Zero's gonna do it? You are literally risking the life of one of our best hunters for this mission. Well, you could just send a fucking rando. Wow, that was dumb, Sickness. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you, even though I could. <clears throat> nah, don't mention it. This is my mission. I'm the only pilot left, you know. What? Y'all don't have any other pilots in the base. That's so dumb. Zero, I'll do it instead of you. Nuh-uh, X. You stay where you are, bruh. Besides, you're the main protagonist. Besides me, that is. So, I, you can't die here. <laughs> Who else will protect the Earth? Don't talk, don't talk as if you won't be back. I'm sure I'll be back. I won't die on such an easy mission, even though this is basically an RNG mission, so Zero could possibly die. <clears throat> but when I become a maverick, I think that's when I've died. <laughs> that might be a possibility, too! <clears throat> In any case, okay, Zero, I'll be waiting for you. And you better come back alive. Or I'll haunt you. No. It's about time, Zero. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this! Ready, Zero? This is our last chance. Blast off! Zero! Be sure to come back safely! Zero! <clears throat> Zero! Can't get my throat too high this morning. That's... Ah, perfect, I got this scene. Once you get this scene right here, viewers, you practically, well, did it right. You'll see what I mean. Zero, the colony is approaching, go! I'm sure, I'm sure it'll work this time, unlike our stupid cannon. Zero will make it back. Locking onto the space colony. I'll get as close to it as possible, and then I'll abandon the shuttle. I saw lots of debris from the colony around here. I have to pilot the shuttle around the debris. Otherwise, the shuttle will be destroyed before it crashes into the Eurasia colony. Zero, I believe you can do it. Thanks, Douglas. It's time to go. I'll cut the communication in five seconds to get out of here. Good luck, Zero. You got this, bruh. Seven, five, four, three, two. It crashed into the colony! Damn! Did he do it? Destruction of the colony is 86%. It will be done. Within 10 minutes, we succeeded in destroying the colony! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Cel <clears throat> Celebrate good times! Come on! Oh my god, my throat. Hashtag on Fefe. Mm, mm. Mm. Celebrate good times. Come on! There you go. Now, you need to sound like a drunk in order to get the emphasis up that we succeeded. Zero, can you read me? Zero! Zero, can you read me? I feel him. I feel zero! Inside... Shh. <laughs> hey, hey, bros. This is Zero, do you hear me? Yeah! Our red boy made it back. I managed to survive. We got a response from Zero. Zero! Daishobu! Oh, you're right, in Japanese. It was challenging, but I'm okay. Everything is fine. I think I can make it back to Earth. We'll get you from wherever you fall. Until then, try and get some rest. It won't be easy, though. <laughs> yeah. After a few hours, we found Zero. He, he's safe, but he's very exhausted. We'll return to the Hunter base now. Awesome. Wait, what is this reading? Oh, what now? We just, we managed to complete the mission, but no, it ain't over yet. This is exactly the same reading. Should we call this the Zero Virus? Zero Virus? The scraps of the colony virus and the Sigma virus combined together? Why call it the Zero Virus? Okay, that's dumb. That's a dumb name. 
I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we still haven't done... We still haven't dealt with Sigma yet. A new virus? Out of the frying pan and into the fire, peeps. For the moment, we've named it the Zero Virus for some fucking reason. I'm reading a strong energy reaction from point 11F5646. We may be able to solve the mystery of the Zero Virus, but it's very risky. What should we do? I know we can't escape, so I'll just so you'll just have to fight it. <laughs> Go for it. We must bring this to an end once and for all. Right. But yeah, of course, we still have Sigma to deal with. I almost forgot. Did you honestly think Sigma truly died in that in that fight at the beginning of the game? Hell nah. Uh, nah, not not Sigma, not that easily. That being said, though, now that we got the Gaia armor, we have um some backtracking to do. So let's get that done before we end the episode. Our first stop is back in um, Volt Kraken stage. We have to go through that bike chase shit again. But you want to go here with the Gaia armor, obviously. I'll meet you there, and I'll be right back. All right, viewers, we're back in Volt Kraken stage. In any case, the Gaia armor is so damn slow. So fucking slow. <laughs> Getting through here was a nightmare. And oh yeah, the bike chase... Oh yeah, just as annoying as ever. But luckily, the Gaia armor can withstand the spikes. So, ow! The Gaia armor's charge shot can also destroy those um, those black blocks. So, you know, there you go. That being said, though. Yeah. Uh, 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 bitch, get up there. I need you up. Come on. Jeez. Even with the armor is fucking annoying. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I got the ultimate buster part. Nice. I told you guys about that earlier in the game. The nice thing about that particular part is that it allows X to fire a fully charged buster shot without having to, well, charge up. Now, one thing you should know is that the guy armor cannot equip parts. Yeah, I know. It sucks. Dumb. That being said, though, there's another part. Um, we got some more backtracking to do. I'll meet you in Dr. Izzy Glow stage. All right, viewers, we're back in Shining Firefly stage. Or Dr. Izzy Glow. Whatever. Your Japanese names are so fucking better, man. In any case, we gotta use the ground fire! Now, in order to get through this section here, use the ground fire to burn the wood. That's it. <laughs> there's that little um, thing up there that we want to get to. Oh, yeah, and watch out for the spikes. That kind of should go without saying, right? Yay! And we get the EX tank. That allows us to hold the maximum number of lives. Or extra lives or whatever. I still don't know what the point of that is. After all, this, after all these years, I still don't know what the point of the, e the EX tank is. When it could have just left us with three, at, at least three E tanks. At least. That was dumb. That being said, though, we're not finished with our backtracking yet. We have to go back to Tidal Wheel stage in order to get the heart tank. And you'll need the Falcon armor for that. So, I'll be right back. All right, viewers, we're back in Tidal Wheel stage. Now, with the, um, with the Falcon armor, use the ear dash to get up. But watch your step in this place because we got spikes and a lot of them. But you can use these little robot fish things to make yourself, you know, take less or take no damage from the spikes. But you gotta be, like, really quick with it. Otherwise, you can die. But beyond that, though, the hard tank is right over there. I need these guys. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes. You see, it pays to actually take damage. Those, yeah, and I, and I know those in the audience that have done no damage runs looking at me like, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. Taking damage actually does help. In the right circumstances, that is. All right, we're done the left side. Now, for our next step of backtracking, there's nothing in Spiral Pegasus we need. Um, there's nothing in Dark Dizzy stage, nor Max Rex. Only one left is um, back back to Spike Rose Red stage. I don't even have to... Um, I don't even have to say, oh, I'll meet you such and such, because it's literally at the beginning of the stage. But you need the Gaia armor in order to get to it. Now, I don't even care about the damage because the Gaia armor is the most tanky armor in the game. Literally. Look how much damage we're not taking. So, there you go. But, yeah, just let those blocks in both Kraken stage. Blast those bitches away! Kamehameha! 
There you go. Once you do that, however, you got more blocks to deal with, bitches. Nice. Uh, well, you don't have to destroy all of them. All right. Yeah! Excuse me, come in through. Uh, move, bitch! Excuse me! Thank you. Oh, oh. All right, get that bitch out the way. There you go. And oh yeah, the guy in armor can stick to walls, too. It's pretty cool. All right, now, where is it? Take the damage. Fuck it. Take the damage. Move! And... Where the... I'm about to say, where is the heart tank? All the way over there. And the dash jump with the guy in armor sucks. Are you serious, game? Putting it... All the way over there? That's a dick move. All right, viewers, I think I figured it out. Now, oddly enough, the guy in armor's dash is able to move these blocks. Ha! Now, I don't know how. I mean, uh, well, it makes sense because it's, the, it's a defensive armor. But you would think that, you know what, never mind. Never mind. My theory is kind of lost here. <laughs> Just makes no sense. But we still have a problem just getting to it. Ugh. Yeah! Okay, now it's not a problem. Woohoo! That was hella annoying. But we got it. We got it. Nice. With that, that takes care of all the heart tanks in the game. Yes. Ha! <sighs> Perfect. Now, before we're about to proceed into the final stages now. Before you proceed, if you got the ultimate buster part, equip that post haste. You will want it for the next stage, which we'll be going to next time on Let's Play Mega Man X5. If you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rich Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.